Welcome to lesson two. In this lesson, we're going to go through and look at how to join letters to make words. Okay, so Arabic is written in joined up form and all of the letters are written together except for the following six, which are referred to as the naughty letters. So the first one is the letter Alif, then we have the letter Dal, then Dal, then Ra, and then Za, and finally the letter Wow. Uh, alif, dal, dal, ra, za, and wow. So these are not joined to the letter that followed them. Uh, what does that mean? If I was to take the letter ba, if I put a ba before it, it can join on to the alif and also to dal and dal. But if it comes after these naughty letters, then it can't join on to the letter before it. So if we had a ba there, it would not join on to the alif. Or if a ba was there, it wouldn't join on to the dal. Okay? So a rule to remember. That these six naughty letters, any letters that come after, it can't be joined on to these letters. Now, when the letters uh, are joined together, their shape uh, changes depending on their position in the word. So, if the letter was at the beginning of the word, or in the middle of the word, or at the end of the word, their shape would change. Let me show you an example. If we take the letter jim, if it's at the beginning of a word, then we have the jim that looks like this. Okay, initial jim. When it's in the middle of the word, then it, something joins onto it, and then we have the gene. And then at the end, we have the gene. Okay, so, and, and this is, you have to know these letters. And to help you do this, I've actually attached a resource file that shows you all of the letters. So we've got the, uh, the letters there, I live on its own, and in English as well, how it's pronounced. Um, and then uh, basically when you, what, what I would say is use this as a as a guidance to help you initially until you get the hang of the letters. So whenever you're joining words, use this chart. So when it's at the beginning, for instance, a ba, it would look like this, ba, then in the middle it's like this, and ba is like this, and ta. And what I'm going to do is actually go through and show you how to do these um, for all of the letters. And then also we'll do a few examples of writing the words. Okay. So but before I do that, I'm going to just quickly go through and cover the naughty letters and just give you a few examples of, you know, how they work and what you can and what you can't do. So if we look at the the first one, which is the alif plus ba, so we know the alif is a naughty letter and the ba is a normal one. When we join these together, because the ba comes after, sorry, the alif, when we join the two together, they will still look the same because the ba cannot join onto the alif. But if we were to swap these two around, now the bar comes before the alif, so that means it can join on. So the bar is joined to the alif, yeah, which becomes ba. Next one is the letter dal, and again the ba. So again the bar comes after the dal, which means that we can't join these two together. Uh, so it looks exactly the same, which is dub. But then if we swap these two around, we will get but because the ba comes before the dal. One more example. So we take the wow and the lam. Again, the lam comes after the wow, which means that when we join them together, they look exactly the same because the lam can't join onto the wow. And if we then swap these two around, now the lam is before the wow, which means it can join. Okay, so just remember those uh, six letters. Um, if you're not sure, refer to the chart. Okay, so now we're going to go through and do the formation of the words. Okay, we'll do, I'll show you how to write each letter. Uh, some of them are quite tricky to write. Uh, I'll show you how it looks in the beginning, in the middle, at the end, and also in joined up form. Then we'll also do a few examples of uh, each letter. Uh, so here we go. So the first letter we're going to look at is the letter Alif. Uh, when we write it on your own, it looks like this. So we start from the top, Alif. And then he has a, a Hamza at the top, yeah, if he's at the beginning of a word. So Alif again, like this, and Hamza. Now when it's at the beginning of a word, then it also looks like this. So same actually as the independent Alif. Once again, Alif, and again, Alif. Okay, when we do in the middle, something joins onto it, so line, 
and then the alif. Yeah, so if I do this again, alif, and again, alif. Yeah, and actually the final looks exactly the same. So we have alif. Yeah. The only time the alif at the end would look different is if there was a a, a, a naughty letter before it. So if we had, for instance, the dal, then it would just look like this. So if we had the letter dal, for instance, then the alif would look like this, yeah, or a, a ra, yeah. So in joined up form, it's exactly the same. So hamza on top, one again, and again, and again, and again. Okay, so that's the letter alif. The next one, uh, sorry, before we do that, we're going to go through and have a look at an example of using the alif. Okay, so the first one we're going to look at is the, let, the word ab. So when we write this in Arabic with the hamza, and then we have the letter ba, which is like this. Ab. Yeah, ab. Now when the alif is in the middle, the ba comes first, which is like this. Ba is ba. And then we have the alif, which is like this. Yeah. So we have the za, which is baz, yeah, which is hawk. The next one is ma. So the alif at the end, the meme. And then we know the alif joins onto it. And sometimes they put the hamza at the end. Yeah. Ma. Which is so ab. Then we have baz. And then we have ma. Okay. So that's the letter alif. Let's look at the letter ba. So when you write the letter ba on its own, it looks like this. So down, straight along the line, and above which is ba now at the beginning of the word it looks like this so we have and there on the line and the ba the nukta goes underneath when it's in the middle it is so we have something joins onto it and then the letter ba yeah next one and final again something joins onto it and then the letter ba. Now when we join these together, we have ba, then we have ba, and again ba, and then finally the final one, it is ba. Okay, so in the beginning, in the middle, at the end and then joined up. Let's look at some examples. So the first one we're going to look at is the word kabir. Uh, sorry, bait. Bait is a house. So a ba at the beginning would be like this. Ba, the, ya. And then we have the ta. Which is bait. Bait. Next is the word big, which is kabir, kabir. So with a calf, so we start with the calf. Calf is like this. And it has a line at the beginning, which is calf. See, ka. Then we have the letter ba. Ba. Then we have the ya. Then we have the ro, which is ro kabir, kabir. Okay. Uh, in the next lesson, you'll go through the vowels, so you can understand. I will show you how to do that. Um, in fact, I could actually do these now. So if I do the bait, it'll be nine there, the sukun there, and bait. This one will be calf with the kabir and sukun there. Kabir, 
last one we have the beat ba at the end with the qalb qalb which is heart so we do the cough which is like this cough then we go like this then we have the lamb yeah and then we have so the cough is like two nuktas on the top then we have the ba at the end Kolb. yeah. Movement on there, the vowels, which is kolb. We've we'll got the fatah there. There, kolb, kolb. Next one, we have the letter ta. So that's written the same way as the ba. Uh, we we'll like this along there, there, and we have the two nuktas on the top, the ta. When it's at the beginning, it's like this. Ta. When it's in the middle, it's ta, and and when it's at the end, okay, there. So when we join it together, it'll be ta, 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 and then. Okay, let's see examples of these. So the first one is, is teen. Yeah, which is for fig. Uh, so the, the beginning, the ta would be like this. Ta. Then we have the ya, which is there, and then we have the noon, which is teen. Teen, yeah. So if we put the harakot on there, it'll be teen. Next one is kitab, which is book. So we've got the kaf at the beginning, kaf. Then we have the ta, which goes in the middle, with the two nuktas. Then we have the alif, kita, and then the ba. Kitab. So we add the harakat. Kitab. Kitab. The last one is bint, which is girl. So we have the ba. And then the noon. And then the ta. The ta at the end. So bint. So we have the harakat bint. Next one is the letter tha. So on its own, we we'll do very much like the ba and the ta, uh, which is so it sits nicely on the line, but it has three nuktas tha, and in the initial we have tha in the middle. that and then at the end that we have the third the beginning then in the middle and then at the end okay so let's look at a few examples we have the third the three nuktas, then we have the meme, and then we have the horo, yeah, thamar, so the shkil, also harakat, oh, sorry, thamar, which is fruit. Next one is kathir, again the calf again, then we have the tha, with the three nuktas, then we have the ya, and then we have the ra. So, kathir. So again, harakat on top, ka, thi, and sukun, kathir. 
kathir. Finally, we have hadith. Hadith, which is have ha, and then the dal. Unlike the ra, the dal sits on the line. Yeah. Then we have the ya, and then we have the fa at the end. Hadith. To bring the other card back on will be ha the ya hadith. Okay, next one we'll look at the letter jim. So we have jim, have the line there, and jim. Okay, at the beginning we have. Jim in the middle something joins onto it and Jim and at the end so straight slightly up and Jim yeah. so when we join these together we get J ja. do it again J ja. do it again yeah, I should bring this up slightly, and then the last one goes on to Jim. So we have Jisr, which starts with the Jim. Jim. Then we have the scene. One, two, scene, and then the Ro. Ro, Jisr. So sorry harakat just next one is shuja so we have the scene with the three nuktas then we have the jim then we have the alif and then the ain so ain Harakat would be Shu Ja. Next one is Muzaj. Muzaj. So we have the meme. Yeah. Then the the Z. Muz. And then we have the Ain. And finally, I will make that up slightly. The Jim at the end. Mosaic, Mos, Sukun, and the Kasra here. Mosaic. Okay. Okay, next one is the letter Ha. So when you write this, same as the Jim. Here. Ha. At the beginning. In the middle. And then at the end. Alright, when we join these together we get yeah, the ha. So let's look at some examples. So the first one we look at is Hebr. So we have the ha. Then the ba, and then the ra. Hebr. Yep, yeah. Hebr. Next one is bahar. So it starts with the letter ba. Then we get the ha. Then we have the ra. Bahar. So we have the meme. Then we have the lam, and then we have the ha. Mil. Okay. Next one is the ha. 
So we have the Kho on its own, which is like this. Kho. Then we have at the beginning, Kho with the one nook at the top. And then we have the Kho in the middle. So then at the end, And then joined up form. So we have the ha. Then we have the ha. And the ha. Let's lose this slightly. And the ha. So let's look at some examples. Three words ha at the beginning. Then we have the ba. And the z. Hubs. Yeah, so hubs. So the next one is Nakhl, so we do noon. Then we have the Kha. And then we have the Nam. Yeah, so the tail of the Lam just comes back slightly above the line. So Nakhl. Which is date palm. Last one we have is Sheikh. Sheikh. So it starts with the scene. Sha. The three nuktas. Then we have the ya. Yeah. yeah. She. And if we tear that slightly up because the horn needs to come at the end. Then we have the ho. Sheikh. Next one is the letter Dal. Dal. So we have Dal on its own. And then in the initial position it's the same. In the middle something joins onto it and Dal. And then finally it's Dal. Okay. And joined up form will be the same. At the beginning it's like this. Uh, but if something was joining onto it, it'll be Dal. Again, dal. So let's look at some examples. So the first one is dars, which is lesson. So we have a dal. Then we have a raw. And then we have a scene. So dars. Next one is Madrasa. So we have a meme. Then we have a dal. Then we have a ra. We have a scene. And because it's a female word, we, we change that to Tamarubuta. So Madrasa. Madrasa. So next one is Jadid. Rajim. Then we have a Dal. I'll actually show just show the highlighted one at the end. Then we have the Ya. And then a Dal. Jadid. Jadid. So J. D. Jadid. Okay, next one is the letter Dal. Is Dal. So, Dal with the Nukta. We have a Dal and the same. So it's very much like the Dal. And Dal. And at the end. Okay, joined up form. At the beginning, it's always like on its own. Then something joins onto it, and again, okay, dal. So let's look at some examples. Three words. First one is dalik, then yadhab. Yeah, dalik is that, then yadhab, and then akhada, which means to take. So starting with dalik, so we have a dal.
then we have a lamb uh, now there's, there's sometimes like the elephant in there uh, but I'll do it without so Dalek 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 yeah which means that actually that's terrible so then we have a lamb and a calf Dalek next one we have is Yatham which is a year then we have a Dal then we have the Ha and then the Ba Yatham Last one is a khada. So we have the alif, then we have the kha, then we have the dal. So a kha da. Okay? Oh, sorry. Sorry, missed the, the nukta. So, akhada. Right? Next one is the letter ra. So, ra on its own is, and then the tail goes below the line. Ra. And again, ra. And joining on to it, because it's a naughty letter, nothing will come after. So, Aura is the same, and when we join it together, so the first one is like this, the others will have something joining before the letter Ra. Okay, so looking at some examples, so we start with the Rajul, we have the Ra, then we have the Jim. And the lamb. Rajul. Rajul. Next one is Waraka. So we have the wow. Then we have the ra. Then we have the qaf. The two nuktas. And tamar at the end. Waraka. Waraka. And the last one is Wazir. Wazir. So, w. Then we have the Z. And then we have the Ya. The two nuktas. Then we have the Ra at the end. Wazir. So, Wazir. Okay. Next one is the letter Z, which we already covered a few times. So on its own, is like this, Z, at the beginning, Z, and something joins onto it, Z, and again, Z, and then joined up form, and like this. Oh, and this. So a few examples. So it's a meal with the Z. So we have Z. Then we have the meme. Then we have the ya. And then we have the lam. Zamil. Z. Me. Zamil. Next we have Mizan, which is the scale. Yeah, Mi. Then we have the Ya. Then we have the Za with the Nukta. Then we have the Alif. 
and then we have the noon zen the last one is khubz which is bread Kho. then we have the ba and then we have the z khubz so khubz next one is the letter seen so on its own it starts with on the line and then the tail goes below and comes back up seen at the beginning and then straight on the line then we have something joining on to it seen and then at the end we have straight and then seen like it is on its own so join form we have the scene straight then again and then scene okay if we look at some examples so we have the scene then we have the meme and then the alif and then the Hamza, Sama. Next one is Mismar. So we have the meme. Then we have the scene. Then we have the meme. And then the alif. Okay, Miss, Mar, oh, and the Ra. Mismar. Next one is majlis which is assembly so meme then we have the gym then we have the lamb and then the scene at the end so that's majlis majlis Next we have the sheen. So same as the scene, it starts on the line and goes below, but has three nuktas. Sheen at the beginning, in the middle, at the end. So when we join it together, and again, and then we finish off with the yeah, sheen. Some examples. So the first one is shams, which means the sun. So. Then we have the meme and then shams the scene shams okay next one is ashura so it starts with the ayn then we have the scene sheen Then we have the Ra and the Tamar Buta Ashara. Last one is Arsh. So we have the Ain, then the Ra, and because Ra is a, a naughty letter, the Sheen is on its own. Arsh. So Arsh. Next one is the letter Sod. Sword. So when you write the sword, it starts like this on the line and then like this sword. That's on its own. And it's at the beginning you do sword and then you put in a little blip. So that's sword in the middle. Okay. And then at the end it is something joins onto it and looks like 
as it on its own uh, the independent letter so joining it together we have sword okay and remember the kink is very important and again and then we finish off with sword and a few examples so we have the sword then the little kink then we have the ya and then the fa soif next one is asl which is the alif now because alif is a naughty letter the sword will be the same as the first one so then we have the lamb asl next we have qamis which is shirt qamis so we have the qaf then we have the meme and the ya and then the sword qamis okay next one we have the dod so dod is same as a sword like this and then dot at the beginning remember the kink and again when it's joined up something joins onto it and and then finally dot Join it together, we have dot and again dot and we finish off with dot. Okay, some examples. So the first one is daraba, which means to hit. So dot, then we have the raw. And then the ba, do, ro, ba. Next one is fa do. So we need the fa. Then is the do. Then we have the lam. Fa do, fa do. Now one of the things we put on because there's two d's in there is something called a shadda which is like this Faddal but we'll cover this in the next lesson next one we have is Marid so we have Meem then the Ra then the Ya and then the Dod Marid next we have the letter Ta so the ta is like this and ta at the beginning it's and ta in the middle something joins on to it ta and then at the end so the joined up form we have Ta. Then we do another one, let's turn that slightly. Ta. And then we have Ta. Okay, so examples. First one is Tabib, which is doctor. So we have Ta. Then we have the Ba. Then we have the yeah. Then we have the ba. Tabib. So we have the meme. Then we have the ta. Then we have the ayn. And then we have the meme.
مطعم لاكسوان از قط سو هاف ذا قاف ثم هاف ذا تا قط قط نيكست وان از ذا ضا سو سيم از ذا تا And it has the nukta. So initial do, then something joins on to it. Do, and again final do. So when we join it together, do, and another one. Do, and another one. Do. Okay. Examples. So first one is dorf. So we have the do. Then we have the ra. And the fa. Dorf. Then it's Adim. So we have the Ayn. Then we have the Dha. Then we have the Ya. And then the Mim. Adim. Last one is Hifz. So the Ha. Then the Fa. And then the do fifth. Next one is the letter ain. So ain starts like this, and then the tail ain. At the beginning ain, and then straight. In the middle, it goes like this. So it starts like this, then goes slightly up. Then across, and then like this. Ein. Final one is starts off, raises slightly, creates the same shape as the middle one, and then the tail at the bottom. So if we join these together, we have ein. Then the ein. Then another ein. And then we finish off. Okay, ein. So examples. So the first one is ashara, which is ten. So we have the ein. Then we have the sheen. Then we have the ra. And then the tamarbuta. Ashara. Next one is laiba. So we have the lamb. We have the ein, and then the ba. Laiba. Last one is ma. So we have the mim. Then we have the ein. So it goes up slightly, and tail ma. So next one is the ein. Same as the ein. Starts from there, and ein has a nukta at the beginning. That in the middle, same thing goes up slightly, and then that ein at the end. Rain. So joined up, we got the rain, rain at the beginning, then a rain, rain, and then at the end, rain. Okay. So a few examples. So first one is radib. So that's a rain. We have the alif. 
Then we have the dot. And then we have the bar. Wadib. This one is Maghrib for Morocco. We have the Meme. Then we have the Ain, so going up. Then we have the Ra and the Ba because the Ra is a naughty letter. Last one is Balig. So we have the Ba, then the Alif, Ba. We have the lamb. Then we have the so that goes up and balik. Next one we have the letter fa. It goes circle and it sits on the line. Fa. At the beginning it's circle and fa. In the middle, there, form a circle. Fa. Make sure there's a like a hole in the middle, otherwise you'll get confused with the rain, rain and the rain. So, last one is this joins on, creates a circle and fa. Let's do that again. Fa. Then we go like this, fa, go like this, and end it, fa. Okay. Some examples. First one is feel, which is elephant. So, fa. Then we have the ya. Then we have the lam. Feel. Next one is heft. So the ha. Then we have the fa. Then we have the vo. Heft. Last one is asif. So we have the alif. Then we have the sin. Then we have the fa. Asif. Next one we have the letter Qaf. So the Qaf is very similar to the Fa but it comes below the line. So we have Qaf then it goes down the line and above. Qaf. When we write it and it has two nuktas. So Qaf in the middle very much like the fa, two nuktas, and at the end, off. So starting again, off, and then in the middle, and then at the end, off. Examples. So we have a column. So we have the lamb and the meme column. Next one we have thakil. So we have the tha. Then we have the qaf. Then we have the ya. Then we have the lamb. Thakil. Next one is Fundok. So we have the Fa, then the Noon, then the Dal, and because the Qaf Dal is a naughty letter, we have the Qaf on its own. Fundok. Next one, we have the letter Kaf. So the Kaf on its own is like this Kaf. At the beginning, it's like this, and then above. In the middle, something joins onto it, like this, calf, and at the end, 
like the initial or on the one on its own. So I start again, I've got calf, then it joins on to something else, another one, and again, and then finally, calf. Okay, examples. So first one is Kabir. So we have Kaf. Then we have the Ba. Then we have the Ya. And then the Ra Kabir. Next one is Sukkar. So we have Sin. Then we have the Kaf. Then we have the Ra. Sukkar. Next one is Samak. So we have seen. Then we have the meme. Then we have the calf. Samak. Next we have the lamb. So the lamb on its own is like this. So it starts from there. At the beginning is lamb on the line. In the middle is the same. At the end, it can be two actually, it can be like this. But if uh, a lamb has an alif, then it looks like this. So like that, and then like that, lamb. So writing the lamb again, then join. And again, and then on its own. Okay, next one, examples. First one is Latif. So we have the lamb. Then we have the ta. Then we have the ya. And then the fa. Latif. Next one is Layla, which is night. Layla is also a name. So lamb. Then ya. Then a lamb. Then a Tamar Buddha at the end because the feminine name. Layla. Next is Jamil. So we have the Jim. Then we have the Mim. Then we have the Ya. We have the lamb, Jamil. Next one is the meme. So the meme is uh, I, like that, like this, and down, meme. So beginning, we we'll start from here, and then meme. In the middle, I do like this. Have a slightly longer meme at the end. So same thing like that, like this, and then the tail. Alright, so if we write this down, join it together, meme, then we have meme, and then again and finish it off meme okay examples so the first one is maktab which means desk so we have the meme go like this then we have the calf then we have the ta and the ba maktab next one so we have the cough. Then we have the meme. Then we have the yeah. Then we have the sword. Kamis. Finally we have naam, which is yes. So we have noon. Then we have the ayn. And then we have the meme. 
نعم اوكي نيكست وي هاف سو نون ستارت لايك ذيس اند جوز باك اب نون ات ذا بيجينينج اتس لايك ذيس ان ذا ميدل And at the end, joins onto it and noon. So join together. Noon. Noon. Noon and noon. Examples. First one is Najm, which is star. So that's a noon. Then we have a Jim. And then we have a mean Najm. Next one is Banat. So we have B, B. Then we have a Noon. Then we have an Alif. And a Ta. Banat. So finally we have the Ba. Then we have the Dal. We have a wow. We have a noon. We do. Next one, we have the letter ha. So you'll see the letter ha written like this, on its own. Or yeah, ha. So at the beginning, it's like this. So one. And comes through. Ha. The beginning in the middle. It's like this. Then like the letter or like a flower. And at the end, it is goes like this. And then like the tamar buta, but without the dots. Yeah. Ha. So do that again. So it's ha. Then in the middle, then again, and then we finish off with the ha. Look at some examples. So first one is honak, which is there. So then we do the noon. Then we do the alif, and then the kaf. Hunak. Next we have Nahar. So we have Noon. And then we have the Ha. So it goes like this. Then one, two, then the Ra. Nahar. Finally, Ismuhu, which is you, his name. So Alif, Sin, Ismu, and the Ismuhu. Okay. Next one is the letter Wow. So Wow, it's like this. Wow. At the beginning, it's the same. Okay, when joined, something joins onto it, and at the end, it's the same. Yeah, wow. So again, joined up form. Wow, something joins onto it. Wow, and wow. Okay. Examples. First one is warok, so it starts with the wow. Then we have the ra, because wow is a naughty letter, so is the ra is actually, and then we do the kof. Warok. So we do fauka, which is fa. Then we do the wow. Then we do the kof. فوق 
And last one is Hua, which is he. So we'll do the her. And we'll do the wow. Hua. Last one is the letter Ya. So Ya, it's like this. So it starts from the line. Ya. Okay. Now when we do it on the line initially, it's like this. In the middle. And at the end, you will see it like Ya. Now you might see it with the nuktas. Or without the nuktas, if it becomes um, a long vowel, uh, so ala, then it'll have no nuktas. If it had ali, then it'll have nuktas. So writing it here, ya, then we have ya, and again ya, and then we finish off with the ya. Examples. So first one is Yom, which is day. So we have the Ya. Then we do the Wow. And then the Me. Yom. Next one is Date. So we have Ba. Then we have the Ya. Then we have the Ta. Date. The last one is Beiti, which is my house. So it's Ba. Then we have the Ya. Then we have the Ta. Then we finish off with the Ya. Beiti. Okay. So that's all the letters done. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Ma salama.